Joining us now from Denver is Tom Palmer. He's the CEO and president of Newmont. It's the world's largest producer of gold. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. I understand uh, Newmont also recently increasing the dividend, issuing some stop, a stock buyback program. Why is now the right time to make those moves? Well, good afternoon, Courtney, and, and Happy New Year. But we've had a, a busy holiday period, uh, announcing just before uh, the holidays uh, a, a billion dollar buyback, and just earlier this week, a significant increase in our dividend. And what both of those uh, announcements do is uh, reflect our commitment to return long-term value to our shareholders and uh, the confidence that we have in the future cash flows from our, from our business. We have a set of operations across the globe in some fantastic locations. We have a project pipeline that's second to none and we have a reserve base for gold that underpins our confidence in generating cash flow over the long term and we wanted to be able to return that cash flow to our shareholders. Tom, the gold price has clearly had a nice run in the very short term and indeed over the last nine months or so as well. We stand at sort of 1,500 at the moment. What's your rough cost of production across all of those assets you talked about such that, you know, at what point does a move in the gold price really matter to you or are we at a level that it can go up or down 10% and it doesn't really make a difference? Well, Wilfred, we're at, a, we're at a level now where it's, it makes a substantial difference. We, we build our business plans on the assumption of a $1,200 gold price. So we're generating robust cash flow at $1,200 and we run our businesses with the discipline that assuming gold is at $1,200. So at current price levels, we're generating substantial free cash flow and that's been part of the reason why we've made the decision to return a good proportion of that cash to our shareholders through our increase in our dividend. I was interested you chose to do that, Tom, via dividend, because uh, on the surface of it, I wouldn't uh, have thought that someone wants exposure to gold is thinking that they actually want to generate an income. It's all, almost a hedge to, to all of their other potentially income-generating assets. Do, do you have a, a close idea of who your shareholders uh, are and, uh, and why did you make that decision to, to go via uh, dividend versus buyback? What, what we look at, we're the only gold company that sits on the, uh, the S&P 500. And we're looking, in terms of the transactions that we completed last year, we've established a business that has a steady production profile for decades to come. So we can generate free cash flow for decades to come. And we wanted to have a dividend, which is an industry-leading dividend in gold, that can appeal to the generalist investor uh, that sits particularly on the, on the S&P 500. So it was really about uh, putting Newmont out there as another investment alternative for folks who can see the stability in, in our profile, they can, they can have exposure to gold and they can have a yield uh, that is well, well in amongst the, our peers on the S&P 500. Tom, when we were introducing this segment, we talked about the recent run that gold has had as we look at it as, as a safe haven when we saw these rising tensions in the Middle East. What is your outlook for the price of gold and what does that suggest that we're saying about the world, whether it's a geopolitical tension comment or a comment about global growth? Courtney, I think um, the recent geopolitical tensions have certainly strengthened gold, but uh, the gold rise, and you, you talked about it over the, the last year or, or two even, the fundamentals behind that are really underpinned by a slowing down in mine supply, the producers of gold. You've certainly got the growth in the middle class in, in China and India looking for that demand for gold. And you're starting to see uh, gold-backed uh, ETFs grow. They reached a peak uh, last year in 2019. So the fundamentals behind the gold price are pretty strong. Um, geopolitical tensions certainly compound them, strengthen them, but the fundamentals are there. So as we look forward, we're, uh, we're confident that gold can stay at pretty healthy levels. But as I said earlier, we, we very much focus on running our business with discipline at a $1,200 gold assumption.